In this episode of Thylobites, we're going to be looking at corridor theory. This is the theory put forward by Cole Bale in his latest book, Shadow of a Thylacine. And it looks at a theory that thylacine moves in corridors from one part of Tasmania to another, following natural game trails, all with suitable habitat, and essentially staying out of the view of people along the way. So our reference for this particular thylobites is Shadow of Thylacine by Cole Bailey, 2013, published by the Five Mile Press, and we're going to be using Google Earth to actually demonstrate this theory. So here we are with Google Earth. Start with a top view of Australia, and now we're gonna to go to the easternmost part of the alleged corridor, and we start at the walls of Jerusalem. Throughout this particular tour and path, have a look for signs of human habitat and uh, built up of, uh, of people and population areas. So it goes from the walls of Jerusalem to the Traveller Range. We continue west over to Mount Rufus, and these points are all mentioned within Cole's book. And then further southwest to Mount Arrowsmith. Again, you can see some, some trail down here, some, uh, some vehicle tracks. And now south to, uh, to Warns Lookout, and we're in the Franklin Gordon uh, Rivers a National Park area. And then you can see the Jane River country, so we're the Jane River here and the Gordon River here. And now the whole corridor is illuminated and the whole Jane River area, Cole talks about quite extensively in terms of his camping in that area. So you can see this corridor here where there's actually quite a distance of remote Tasmanian wilderness, quite rugged country. Um, obviously uh, the thylacine doesn't swim here, but it just shows you the, the point of direct path between the two points. So you can see that this is suitable habitat for thylacine. There's plenty of areas for it to, to hide in. There's lots of open areas as well in terms of places that you'd find the type of prey that thylacine would be eating and consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And you've got quite an absence of built up population areas, uh, even vehicle tracks are quite scarce. So quite rugged, so quite feasible that thylacines could be following this corridor from east to west in a southerly direction. That's it for this episode of Thylobites. Talk to you soon.